How's it going, sauce mates? I'm doing fantastic today. I hope you are too. I'm really excited about what we're making today. Uh, this one is one of my favorite things ever. It's a real treat. Savory, salty, delicious, red meat, awesomeness. I've got a nice rack of lamb here. So this is from the Fresh Market. They actually have really great lamb product. And you know it's good because they have lamb from Australia. That is the top quality lamb that you can get is Australian lamb. And this one is already Frenched, which means that all the bones are visible, all the unnecessary extra sinews and tissues have been cut away, so it's just perfect. You just slice up between the joints here, and you've got a nice little handle of meat drumstick deliciousness. It's freaking incredible. So I'm going to slice this open, season it, and we're going to get started making our delicious rack of lamb. I'm excited. All right, sauce mates, let's get to it. All right, guys, check this out. Let's slice open this delicious package of awesomeness. All right, look at that. That looks amazing. Delicious marbled French rack of lamb. This is going to season it up simple with some salt, some pepper, some uh, fresh garlic, and rosemary. And then we're going to cook it sous vide, actually. I'm going to do uh, four hours at 130 degrees Fahrenheit to make sure we get a nice medium rare. And that's it. We'll sear it up, get that fat rendered down nicely, and it'll be delicious for eating. All right, let's bag our lamb right here. I'm just gonna take this guy, slide it right into the bag. Add some rosemary, fresh rosemary twigs to both sides. Put one underneath, one on top. And then we've got some fresh chopped garlic right here. And we're just gonna throw that in the bag. Perfect, so now it's just time to seal this sucker up. All right, our sealing process is done. Now it's just time to uh, submerge our lamb into our sous vide water bath and just let it cook. All right, my sauce mates. So to go with our delicious lamb, I'm gonna do some potato wedges, some awesome garlic rosemary potato wedges. So I've, just, I've already cut up these wedges. They've been soaking in water. I'm doing this because I wanna remove a lot of the starch It'll make a nice crispier uh, texture to the outside of these guys as opposed to a softer uh, finish. So it's going to be real nice and crispy with some ro chopped up rosemary and garlic and cheese. And they're going to be amazing wedges. So I'm just going to go ahead and get these ready right now. All right. So basic seasonings include salt, black pepper, onion powder, and then a mixture of chopped rosemary and garlic into a nice little paste. So I'm just gonna add that here. I'm gonna add some cheese and a tad bit of olive oil. We're just gonna toss that up. And then for a little added bonus of flavor, duck fat is amazing for flavor. So I'm just gonna put a little dollop in there enhance these wedges. That's it. So we're just gonna bake those at 425 for like 25 minutes until they're nice and crispy. All right, check this out, guys. I've got the Anova uh, sous vide set up. It's set to 130 degrees, and the water is nice and circulating, ready for insertion of our lamb, our rack of lamb to the pot. So we're gonna get started. We're gonna put this in, this, in the water bath for four hours to make that lamb perfectly medium rare and tender. It's gonna be amazing. All right, guys, it is almost time. I'm so pumped. Lamb is my favorite. It's so good. Ready to remove it from the sous vide bath here. Check that out. Check it out. All right, 
So if you can see here, the garlic actually turns blue and that's totally normal. So at certain temperatures, older garlic tends to react uh, when it's cooked and it changes colors to this bluish color, which is totally normal. It's not bad at all, it's just a color change. So I'm just gonna cut this sucker open and uh, pat it dry and then we're gonna give it a nice delicious sear, all right. All right, we got some nice hot oil. Let us put our lamb. Ooh, ooh, that sounds beautiful. Very beautiful sound. All right, our lamb has been seared up on all sides. It looks delicious golden brown. Look at that, it looks amazing. Time to take it off and let it cool for a little bit before we slice open into this delicious goodie. Oh baby, oh baby. That is incredible. Check that out. Perfect. Perfect pink center. Check that out guys, look at that handiwork. That is gonna be some delicious lamb for eating. I'm so excited. I can't wait to plate this and sit down and just munch all over this. <laughs> all right, it's time to remove our wedges from the oven. Let's do it. Let us do it. Oh, hell yeah. Check that out. Those look awesome. Hey, what's up my sauce mates? We did it. This one is special to me. I love lamb. Lamb is like top five favorite things. It's so good. It's just like such a delicious red meat. It's got, it carries so much flavor. It like holds more flavor than beef. Like you can really taste rosemary and garlic when you put into it. It's light though too. It's not as heavy as like a piece of beef. It's just awesome combination. I love it. It's freaking incredible. So. With enough talk, it's just time to eat it. So let's do it. Just grab one like a caveman. Let's do it. And let's see. Mm. Mm. Oh man. Oh, so good. I can't even, I have no words. Mm. I just want to keep eating it. I don't even want to have this conversation with you sauce mates anymore. Get out of here, no. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'll wrap this up and then I'll get back to this. Oh my God. Perfectly cooked, that perfect medium rare. Salty, garlic, fragrant, light, refreshing. Oh my God. I can't say enough about lamb. And it, just, it works so well in the sous vide too. That's not, not, Everything is better in the sous vide, but I feel like at least the way I do the lamb in the sous vide is better than, than other ways it can be done. Awesome. Let's try our little side, these wedges. These are pretty damn good too. Hell yeah. Mmm. <laughs> God damn, this is a great meal. Guys, lamb with these potatoes, you should definitely try this at home. This one's easy. There's not that many ingredients. Um, if you have a sous vide, you can do it like that. You could also uh, grill them, bake them, but just try lamb. Lamb's amazing. So uh, and that's gonna be it for our video today, Sauce Mates. I'm the Sauce Mate, and uh, I had a great time making this with you guys, and uh, I'm going to continue eating. Mm. All right, peace out, guys.